Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is another little video talking about what's new in Windows 10 April 2019 update. Well, one of the new features or one of the uh, adjustments I would say that uh, has to do with the start menu is regarding the tiles and the layout of the start menu. One of the biggest problems in the start menu is how cluttered it is. And you know, when you do a clean install, there's tons of things that show up and that are over there and you're like, way too much. Well, they cleaned it up a little bit. So when you do a new install and a clean install of Windows 10, first of all, you'll notice that there's less tiles in that menu. Also, things are a little more spaced out. So if you look at the list of software here on the left side, there's more space between each of the apps that is in the list. Even the tiles are a little spaced out a little more. And um, one of the cool things also is that if you do groups of tiles, like here we got multiple groups. I'll give you an example, play. I'm not going to use ever this, uh, the tiles that are here, really. Well, you can now simply right click on one of the name of the groups and you can unpin the full group before you had to actually unpin each app within the group before you could actually remove the group. Now you can just unpin the group and it's as easy as right clicking and just unpinning from start either the group or not. So another example here, uh, okay, I might want to use edge, so I might move it here to its own spot. Um, the rest, I'm not sure I'm going to use it like that. So um, maybe I would like to have the weather, but I'll put it here. The rest of the group, I don't want to have the explore group. I'll right click on name, on pin group from start, and that's it. Of course, you still have the capability of resizing tiles in a different manner. And of course, that means that you'll have more details or less details, depending on what you want to do. So this is, of course, OK. And of course, you have the possibility to create groups. So for example, if I want to have the Mail app and the uh, Microsoft Edge app, and of course, you can name group um, email and internet, for example. And here we uh, give it its name, email and internet. There we go. Whoops, email -y. <laughs> Email and internet. And uh, at some point, you can, of course, uh, create your own groups if you wish. On the start menu, you can move a group to any space you want. You can move tiles so that they are more uh, of what you want. Uh, here, I'm going to resize, for example, to a medium tile so that they fit next to each other rather than having that weird look that it had. But it's easier than ever to actually um, do pretty much what you want, and you don't really need to have all that cluttered space in the start menu. It's a little better, and the fact that you can easily remove groups rather than having to remove all the tiles. And, you know, it's a little better. There's a little more, there's a touch of fluent design in it. It also adapts much better to whatever um, you actually choose. So, for example, once again, if I go to the settings here, for example, I go to personalization. I'm deciding that in personalization, I want to have everything in the dark mode. Well, I just click to have everything dark. And once everything is dark, it also will affect my start menu, dark mode. It's uh, as you wish. And, you know, and they readjusted some of the colors, some of the icons, so that they are easier to see at the same time within the start menu. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching this video on some of the new features within the Windows 10 April 2019 update.